Okay, I'm thinking I'd like to ask you for reconsideration on the April 3rd rezoning vote for items 2023 62 062 and 063 for um, 169 acre Telos Venture Partners LLC. There's three major dilemmas with this rezoning and it's located on historic Route 66. This project location does not fit the community and the Mojave General Plan has been altered. Facts were stated regarding the infrastructure challenges and our county sheriffs are overburdened and understaffed and can barely police the community since we are nine miles from the nearest substation. Sheriff Schuster asked on April 3rd to increase his budget as Mojave County has the lowest wage for sheriffs. 23 to $33 max per hour for long shifts. But with this support comes the responsibility of not only providing top-notch law, top law enforcement, but also having appropriate levels of funding to ensure that we have adequate numbers of trained and experienced staff to do so. 180 plus RV sites that are gonna be open to rent nightly, like an Airbnb coming into our town, bringing another set of new um, problems. Facility that is gonna be a one-stop shop. Some people out there are calling this Disneyland in the desert. Uh, folks are getting really excited about uh, the fact that they can peel out in their jeeps. The concert venue alone that has no support for the attendees, there are no hotels, no public campgrounds, no restrooms, only the open desert and no trash pickup. How will you handle the increased crowds? Citizens need to have trust and confidence in elected officials and hope they act in the best interest of the public they serve and to be fair and unbiased by putting public interest before personal gain. I'm not, I, I'm just not for upsetting the apple cart. We're all looking for money and I... Our state legislator... Leo Biasucci purchased this property knowing the development could not be built unless he resolved. <laughs> disregarded the unanimous rejection of the Planning and Zoning Commission. You did not do your homework on this matter. With the 69 letters and 30 emails and a petition of over 200 signatures and opposition sent to you before April 3rd. You closed the public forum early to the speakers. They brought themselves down here to speak. Our representative, Supervisor Ron Gould, swiftly moved to approve this. Hildy Ingus quickly second the vote. She is running for the office that the state legislator, Leo Basucci, now holds. We've had the same people on this trust board for many, many years, and those people are, um, well, I'm the chairman. He endorsed her publicly days before this. has now approved three projects by the same developer. We're hyper-focused right now on erecting as many of these RV park buildings as possible. So for this politician and business partners to gain the opportunity to build this development in a rural area next to residential homes in a, and a school and to next to protected land is something to be scrutinized. Third, it is an, an environmental impact on the tribal BLM land and Havasu Wildlife Refuge within the Topak Marsh and Goose Lake. The sewage treatment plant, fueling station, and a concert venue, which alone could destroy the habitat for the species that reside within 500 feet. Off-road rentals bring a danger to the surrounding community, school, and desert. The noise, light, and ground pollution will be devastating. A much agreed a housing development would much better blend into the community in this storage compound. I hope we can raise awareness and you can bring this back and rescind your votes. Thank you, ma'am. Charles